In this video, I will be explaining the process of treadmilling and the conditions under which this behavior takes place. So, actin filaments are thin, flexible proteins that make up part of a cell cytoskeleton. They're needed for cell movement and muscle contraction. In order to be stable, actin filaments must bind to proteins. If they are not stable, the filament can disassemble from both ends into individual actin monomers. So every actin filament has a plus end and a minus end. And the individual actin monomers look like this. So each actin monomer is tightly bound to ATP. Once they're added to a growing filament, their ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP. This reduces the strength of the bond between monomers, which in turn causes the ADP bound ones to more readily dissociate from the filament. So over here, the red monomers are the ATP bound ones. and the green are ADP bound. So an ATP comes in and binds to the monomers. They're added onto this plus end of the filament. Once they're added, the ATP is hydrolyzed, which takes a phosphate group off of it, causing it to then become an ADP-bound monomer. These ADP-bound ADP monomers are less stable, which is why they are able to readily dissociate from the filament into their own monomers. So this whole cycle is the process of treadmilling. Because of this process, the actin filament adds monomers to its plus end, over here, and takes them off of its minus end. This results in a net gain of zero monomers, causing the filament to remain the same size as there's an equal rate, or as they're added and taken off at the same rate. So that is why this occurs to keep the filament the same size. If the concentration of the free monomers in an environment is high, treadmilling is not needed because instead the filament can just grow quickly on its own, readily adding monomers to both of its ends at the same time. When this process of treadmilling occurs is in environments where the concentration of monomers is not high um, and that is how it maintains its structure.